Now it's time we learn about Lookup, a powerful stage that lets you combine information from two collections. For those with some knowledge of SQL, Lookup is effectively a left outer join. If that didn't make any sense, don't worry. Let's break it down. In database terms, a left outer join combines all documents or entries on the left with matching documents or entries from the right. So A left outer join with B would look like this. The lookup stage has this form. The from field here is the collection from which we want to look up documents. Keep in mind that the collection you specify in the from field cannot be sharded and must exist within the same database. Local field here is the field in the working collection where we express the aggregation command that we want to compare to. Foreign field here is the field we want to compare from in the collection we specified in from. Lookup will perform a strict equality comparison. And the as field here is the new field name we specify that will show up in our documents that contains any matches between local field and foreign field. All matches will be put in an array in this field. If there were no matches, the field will contain an empty array. Let's visualize this in an example. Suppose we're aggregating over an airline's collection and we want to fetch which alliance the airline belongs to. As the argument to from would specify air alliances. Next, we would specify name as the argument to local field, the value we want to compare to. The argument to local field can resolve to either an array or a single value. Then, we would specify airlines as the argument to foreign field, the value we want to compare from. The argument to foreign field can also resolve to either an array or a single value. We can see that based on the argument so far, Penguin Air won't match anything. Delta Airlines will match Sky Team, and Lufthansa will match Star Alliance. Those matches will be brought into the current document as Alliance. We could have given any string value we wanted, but keep in mind that if we specify a name that already exists in the working document, that field will be overwritten. Notice here that because the document with name Penguin Air did not have any results, there is an empty array. Oftentimes after a lookup, we we'll want to follow it with a match stage to filter documents out. Another thing to note, lookup retrieves the entire document that matched, not just the field we specified to foreign field. Alright, let's look at lookup in actual use. Let's combine information from the Air Airlines collection with the Air Alliances collection, putting all the airline information within the Alliance document. First, let's look at the schema in our Air Alliances collection. Okay, the data we need for local field is in the Airlines field. Let's look at the Airlines schema so we know what value to use as the foreign field. Alright, easy enough. It looks like the information we need for foreign field is in the name field. That should be all the information we need. Let's build the pipeline. All right, we specify Air Airlines to the from field, Airlines as the local field, Name as the foreign field, and here we chose to override the Airlines field with the information we get back. It makes sense. We'll be replacing the names with entire documents. Let's see the output. Pretty cool. We can see that Lookup did just what we expected it to do. We could follow this with some projections or even another lookup stage to perform some powerful reshaping and analysis. But for now, that's enough. We've covered a lot of information in this lesson. Lookup is a powerful stage that can help reduce network requests and combine information from different collections together for powerful and deep analysis. Here are a few things to keep in mind. The from field cannot be shorted. The from collection must be in the same database. The values in local field and foreign field are matched on equality. And as can be any name, but if it exists in the working document, that field will be overwritten.